Today we're gonna look into this Metafish game and with this game there's this fish token on coin market cap now the price is like 0 0.07 um, but the price is fluctuating a lot during the day it happens almost every day it goes up to 0 0.1 0 0.12 to 0 0.05 it's just fluctuating almost every day and the price went up to 0 0.22 I guess and then it went down to 0 0.05 ish that's levels so it's fluctuating a lot but um, it's kind of good to just uh, you will have a chance to buy from the bottom uh, this coin and if you want to sell you can just wait for the 0 0.1 0 0.2 something in this area let's look into the game and first i want to show you the tokenomics of this game so the good thing is about this game is that game reward pool is like 41 percent it's good it's 41 million fish coin that's good i mean uh, when you play the game, you will earn a lot, everybody will earn a lot. But I didn't like the 25% ideal sale because I thought that it would uh, create a pressure on the prices. But they say that they're just like um, locking the coins partially and they're just uh, releasing part by part. So I don't think that there will be too much pressure on the price. So it's kind of good and also um this core this metafish group they got audits uh, from this solid group i guess so you can check this solid group and check this audit result i don't know if you think that it's a um, legit one you would like it and then you would uh, trust this but i don't know it's up to you you can check the audit results here um, I just want to show you the game. So setting up is so easy. You will just go to app.metafish.io and then you will just uh, connect your MetaMask and uh, it will this um, application, this game will ask you to choose a character. I chose the boy and there's a girl. You can choose the girl as well. There's no difference at all. So I chose the boy. Its name is Eden and there's this current address and it's showing you the rewards so you just need the metamask wallet if you don't know how to set the metamask wallet you can check my other video about this so in the game uh what do we have here mm, we have rods fishing rods so you need to buy a fishing rod there are two ways to do that so you can first buy a box um, there are three types of boxes just the design is different, but the rest of it is just same. They do the job, all of them, they do the job. There is no difference, just the design. So you can buy a box for 1,000 fish coin here. So what's the trick in this? They are not open all the time. So they just open the box sale twice a day and it's sold pretty much quickly every time so instead of waiting for it you may choose to go to marketplace in marketplace you can find some uh, fishing rods but in marketplace cheapest rod is 1200 which is one star rod all right so with box it's cheaper but it's hard to get one but uh, in marketplace you can just easily buy one but it's a bit more expensive um, with box you have this advantage that you can just uh, get a six star rod which is less likely but you might if you think that you're lucky you can get the six star rod I will tell you the advantage of it but uh, if you want to buy the cheapest one from the marketplace, it's going to be a one star rod and it will bring less luck, which will be important. Okay, now if you have one star rod, it means that you your lucky is zero. 
if you have two star road it means that your lucky is five so five lucky what does it mean it means that you will have five percent more chances to get fish when you're going to hunting when you're going to fishing i'll explain that uh, clearly so uh to begin with um if you want to buy a box and wait for it and just if you think that you're lucky you can just buy it for 1000 fish coin and uh, it will ask you to pay for 50 fish more so you can just pay 1000 and 50 fish to get to buy one and to open one so i would recommend you to put 1100 maybe even a bit more fish token to this game if you want to invest in this game i would recommend you to put more than 1000 fish token to this game because uh, you will have to repair your road so when you buy the road you will go for fishing let's say you're going to the there are four trenches four lakes to go to fishing so let's say you're going to the first trench and it tells you that okay your luck is 60 so you have 60 percent chance that you will get fish and there is this durability so this durability means that your fish will uh, lose one durability in one fishing so look at here uh, it's 43 out of 50 so i lost seven durability during the fishing how am i how am i gonna repair it i'll go to the collection i will just click on here repair and i can repair my uh, rod but it will cost me 14 fish because i just uh, i'm lacking seven uh, durability points here it will cost me um, 14 fish so you're going for fishing and there's so many lakes well what's the deal with them so on the first lake you have 60 percent chance on the second leg you have 30 percent chance but you have more rewards on the third leg you have 15 percent chance on the fourth leg you have five percent chance so on this one you have so much rewards possible rewards but luck is low but if you have like six stars of uh, uh, road you will have much more chances like uh, how much like 25 percent more chances so if you have two stars road you will have five percent more chances on this leg you will have 10 percent chances to get this reward or like 300 rewards and in this leg if you have two stars road you will have 20 percent chance so it's gonna be like this but uh i calculated the odds here so i want to show you this excel table all right in this table now you can see all right uh on the first leg you have 60 percent 30 percent 15 and 5 percent chances so with these chances your possible income is on the first leg 60 because it says like uh, 54 to 66 i just got the middle amount and i said 60 120 175 300 but you have only 60 percent chance with the one star road so it means that you will get only um, 36 but also after one fishing you will be losing two fish coins so i just uh, took that amount off so after each fishing you will be earning 34 and with two stars road if you go to first trench you will get 37 if you go to second leg you will get 38 44 here and if you have six stars road it's better you go to the fourth, fourth lake so with this table you can just decide with your road which lake to go and how much to earn 
and in here I've written the road prices here it's just an approximate amount it's not the real amount I mean like it can differ by any day and any chance you know like you may get like a um, six stars road for maybe six thousand I don't know if you're lucky you can find it and you can make your own calculation so in this game uh, let's say you bought a um, one star road from the marketplace for 1200 and in dollars I just took the price as 0 0.1 fish coins price as 0 0.1 right now price is 0 0.07 so you paid $84 to the road and for each each fishing you're paying gas fee I just uh, check the gas fee and it was uh, 34 cents so for each fishing you're paying gas fee we need to deduct this amount and your daily income would be 90 fish and that would be 5.44 dollars and payoff would be 15.4 days if you play all the time by all the time every nine hours so uh, you can just go to fishing every nine hours not less than that and it's not gonna be accumulating so after nine hours you didn't go for fishing and you waited for nine more hours and you're expecting to go to fishing twice no you can't you can go you can go only once it's not accumulating so you gotta keep track and you gotta go to fishing every time you get a chance all right so According to this calculation, um, this is paying, for example, the third star, three star uh, road is paying off after 18 days, 23 days, 33 days. So if you pay for like um, for the four star road, um, like 2,500, it will pay off way just before then. Let's check. It's gonna pay. It's gonna be paying off after 19 days and. So um, your daily income with one road with $84 investment would be $5.44. It's not a bad one, actually. I mean, it can be a good investment if there was no risks. I mean, like, you know these games. You, you can't trust them completely. So it's better not to just uh, trust these kind of games completely so I mean you can think about it after 15 days you get your old money back it's a good one I don't know this is your own risk I'm not giving you any financial advice so you can just check this table and uh, if you have any more questions you can write down on the comments and I will try to reply for you. If you like this video, please uh, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys. See you later. Take care.